Alright guys, and now I'll be showing you my Xbox game collection, which I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 Xbox games. So anyway, let's get on to it. Okay, first one's not in the original Xbox case, but it's in a PlayStation 2 case. Advent Rising. Bought it in July 2017. This game came out in 2005. Also, also released on PC. Should have been released on PS2. Next one's a fighting game that came out in 2003. Capcom vs. SNK2. EO. Xbox Live enabled. I'm not sure what the EO means. And it's a former rental from Movie Gallery. Inside stress on the seat. Let me take a look at it. Bought from High Tech Game Creators. Along with Final Fantasy Origins on PS1. Which also came out in 2003. Yep, this is a former rental from Movie Gallery. Never had a video game that was a former rental from Movie Gallery before. First one. Next one's another fighting game. And this time it's from 2004. Developed by Arc System Works. Bought it in April 2017. 9 out of 10. Game of the Month, September 2004. Xbox Nation. A minus. Prepare to get blown away. Play Magazine. Guilty Gear X2. The Midnight Carnival. Hashtag Reload. It actually came brand new. It's going after Advent Rising, which I do have on my Xbox. Showed you earlier. I also have a few other Guilty Gear games. One on PS2 and two on PlayStation 4. Now, now the next one, which I bought back in October 2017. Didn't come in the original case. Came in a in a CD case. Well, that's rounded. And it's House of the Dead 3 from 2002. Rail shooter. You gotta shoot at the zombies. And this game has a feature where you have the blood that's red and green. But I prefer seeing red blood. Because this game is rated M. Developer is Wow Entertainment. Publisher is Sega. Now the next two are fighting games. From S and K. King of Fighters 2002. And King of Fighters 2003. Challenge to Ultimate Battle. By brand new. Back in April 2017. Same thing with the next one. From SNK Playmore. Also have three other King of Fighters games on PlayStation. King of Fighters 2 and King of Fighters 2 3. This game is also released on PlayStation 2 as well. Next one says only on Xbox. King of Fighters Neo Wave. The ultimate three on three fighter for Xbox and Xbox Live. Hard Hardcore Gamer Magazine. It also came with this as well. Oh look, it's got an F for Samurai Showdown 5, 
which I'll show you later on. Next one's a sports game that came out in 2005. Madden NFL 2006. This game was a launch title on Xbox 360. Also released on PlayStation 2, GameCube, and, uh, Game Boy Advance, and uh, I think it's on Nintendo DS2, as well as PC. Oh, THX logo on the back. THX certified game. You know, just like it will be the show, one of the previous titles. Now the next one is, is not in a case. The original casing, but bought this on eBay from Game Swift, just like House of the Dead, but I bought it from Amazon. Here is Murakuma Renegade Mech Pursuit, which came out in 2002 in Japan. And this game came out in 2003 here in America. Publisher is Ubisoft. Developer is From Software, from the developers of Armored Core and Dark Souls. Next one's another sports game. Also on PS2 and Xbox 360, PlayStation Portable, and PC. NHL 2007. Bought it back in January 2017. This game I bought recently. Bought this from Valley Village in June 2018. Bought it in April 2017. I don't know where the rest of the manual went, but I'm not sure. It's probably just a small manual. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the rest. I'm not sure. This one I talked about earlier, only on Xbox, Samurai Showdown 5, this game, this game came brand new when I bought it in, um, when was it? Oh yeah, April 26, no, May 2017. Came with this, too, just like... Neo Wave and King of Fighters 2 and 2 and 3. Yes, King of Fighters 94 Rebounds on PlayStation 2. Have that game. Oh, and the receipt. Let me just take a look at it really fast. The next one's another fighting game. Bought in February 2017. SNK vs. Capcom Chaos. It says win an arcade machine. Details inside. But I don't have the manual. Sorry. And it's probably expired by now. Nope, no manual. And now for the last Xbox game, which is Platinum Hits, Silver Case, Extreme Sports Game, Skateboarding, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Publisher Activision, Developer Neversoft, 
And I do have another Tony Hawk game, and it's on Nintendo 64. The best skating game ever since Game Spy. No manual inside when I bought it. This was actually my first Xbox game I ever bought. It was on September 17th, 2016. And there you have it with my original Xbox game collection. And now I'll do my Xbox 360 collection next. But I'll only show half of half of them, which I got like 24 titles on Xbox 360. Anyway, I'll show them to you right now. I'll only show half. Comes in an eco case, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care for eco cases. Akai Katana bought it July 2014 from True Hardware. Bought that game from Walmart in September 2012. This is an uh, a vertical shooter. No, no, no. A uh, horizontal shooter. It's Japanese too. In 2012. Uh, yeah, 2012. Puzzle game. Bejeweled 3. Bought this in. Actually, I got it for Christmas in 2012. Also, I have it on my PS3 and PC as well as Nintendo DS. Also features Bajula Blitz Live, which the music is pretty fucking awesome. I wish someone would just download the soundtrack and put it on YouTube. I also have Plants vs. Zombies. Well, technically I do have Heavy Weapon and Astro Pop, but I have them on PlayStation 2. And yes, my only Xbox 360 game to be in the slipcover. Bought this in March 2012, which is a game, which is a Kinect game. Purple Case, Down Central 2, requires the Kinect. Uh, let me think. I remember when the Kinect came out. It was in November 2010. Five years after the Xbox 360 launch. Bought this in. Um, I bought it from Giant Tiger in, in February 2015. Dungeon CH3 publisher is Square Enix. The developer is um, Obsidian Entertainment. Just like uh, South Park, The Sake of Truth, and The Fractured Butt Hole. Here's your product registration card. Also featured in Mindjack, Front Mission Evolved, and Secret of Mana. This is an action role playing game. In 2011. I think I got this, I think my sister got this for Christmas in 2012 or early 2012, no, 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 Christmas 2011, and it's Family Game Night 3, Yahtzee, Clue, Twister, Game of Life, Mousetrap, based off the board games, also on PlayStation 3, EA and Hasbro. One of the last games to have this inside. I think this came out in like late 2010. 
bought this in January 2016 from the bargain shop. Forza Motorsport 4. Platinum Hits. 2D Xbox logo. So this is probably a reprint from 2013. Stunning says Wall Street Journal. Racing Game of the Year. Winner 2012 Interactive Achievement Awards. Academy of Interactive Arts and Science. Sciences. And yes, this game came out in 2011. Comes with two discs. I do have another one that has two discs for Xbox 360. Because it uses DVD, PS3 uses Blu-ray, and PS4 and Xbox One also use Blu-ray as well. Got this included with my Xbox 360 bundle, which I got for Christmas in 2011. Connect Adventures. Next one I bought from Amazon in July 2016. Wanted to get this game for quite a while. Nice contract. Consider buying this on PS3 someday. Might sell this. It's going that for Splatterhouse. Bloody scheme of E3 says Kotaku. Oh my god, it's so bloody. Bloody violent, graphic violence, and it's so gory. Hex Drive is the developer of this game. Bought this from Domo in April of 2016. Lost Planet 3. funny it has no manual probably like one of the last Xbox 360 games to have the 3d Xbox 360 logo until it was was changed to the and the last one I'm going to show you for this part of my Xbox 360 game collection is Minecraft for Xbox 360 Bought it in August 2014 for Best Buy. Also has no manual as well. Well then, that'll pretty much do for part one of my Xbox 360 game collection. And see you in part two. See you then.